What's up guys? This is BTV here and I'm here with a snake game and this is my game against Bro Kappa from the third phase of official Samogon snake draft and uh, I'm 2-0 at this point and my opponent Bro Kappa is like 5-2 at this point and I guess he's on the Rattlers and I am on the Pit Vipers so the Pit Vipers are like currently rank 1 at this stage and if I win my game we will be pretty much into the playoffs and confirmed we will be confirmed for the playoffs and we have a good shot at being number 1 so this is a pretty important game for me and yeah but even it's an important game for Bro Kappa as well and he, yeah because he, he wants to make sure the Rattlers go through and the, the Rattlers are like in 4th or 5th position at this stage so like his win is more crucial than mine but yeah so um initially uh when i wanted to bring a bill for bro kappa everyone was like he spams lots of fat shit toxic and all that stuff so i wanted to build around mainly focused on a breaking core of hoopa because i love hoopa if you guys know me uh, and i've used hoopa like three times in snake and yeah Hoopa is just a Hoopa is just a fire breaker and if there is no Tyranitar on the opposing side, uh, Hoopa can just break through teams. So yeah, I, I I build this team around Hoopa and Mega Mobile. Mainly focused on breaking uh, the fat shit uh Bro Kappa usually uses. And yeah, basically this is a balanced breaking team and I, I I really like this team. This is SD, Mega Mobile with knockoff, sword stance, player off and sucker punch. Uh Hoopa U, Choice Specs Hoopa U. Uh, just defensive leftovers Landris with Earthquake, HP, Ice, and U-Turn, and Rocks. Um, la and okay, this is this Latios set is really cool. Uh, it has no Dragon move, which is weird, but uh, it's Defog, Roost, Psychic, and Surf. Uh, Poet told me that Brokapa might use a T-Tar, and I j and if I could get if I could find a lure to bre to like. Uh, remove the T-Tar, then Hoopa you could just sweep through teams. So I came up with this Hydro Vortex Larios set, and yeah, it's a cool set because if you if you go for the Hydro Vortex on the predicted uh, Tyranitar switch, and it does like 65 to 70 ish around that range, and then with the Surf or or with the Surf or Draco Meteor you can knock it out. Uh, mostly. Draco if you don't want to risk the rolls, but Surf is a roll. And then I have AG, AV measure enough for a defensive quarter and a check Lele and stuff. Because my team is quite kind of weak to that. And then I have a uh, Choice Scarf Keldeo to like uh, check Wall Corona uh, if it gets too annoying. And uh, basically for extra speed control I have a Wall Corona because my team is like not very fast. Other than Latios it's like pretty slow. So yeah, that, that's my team. and. Uh, Brokaba brings a rain team which I fucking did not expect at all and yeah and I, this is a pretty hard matchup and looking at okay so let's get straight into the game now and yeah looking at looking at his team uh, it looks like pretty obvious sets uh, rocks probably spikes Pharah and rocks on uh, it's rocks or pup sw mega swampert uh, lele which is probably like z move lele and <clears throat> it's probably Halucha with like uh, with the Psychic Seed so that it can get a speed boost, spe special defense raise, and probably bulk up because uh, they usually run bulk up with this set. And yeah, and I really did not want to face this matchup because you can see if, if he ever gets in a Swampert on any of my mons, that's not the Kelly or the Latios, he pretty much gets one kill. He just claims one with the Swampert, and this is a pretty bad matchup for me because I wasn't expecting rain. But uh, it looks like all hopes are lost, but then, then there are people cheering for me everywhere, and I'm like, okay, let's get into the game. Okay, so jokes apart, uh, I decide to lead with the Hoopa, I, I believe, because uh, it covers the Pelipper and it covers the Swampert. If he, uh, most likely the Pelipper. Uh, because I'm expecting either for him to lead with the Pelipper, anticipating my Landris Barkeldio, 
or the swamp bird and even if he decided to lead with the feral by any chance i could have just gone for the focus blast so yeah i just lead with the hoopa as he decides to lead with the lele and uh i just have to switch out turn one there there's no other go for me i i cannot risk the hoopa because hoopa might be uh important for me like if i get it if it, if i am able to get the hoopa you on a predicted double switch on the pelipper then uh hoopa can pretty much claim one kill so i switch out hard into the majorna here and um this is actually a tough turn for me because I can't really wall switch. If I wall switch on the Swampert, I lose all momentum. And uh, yeah, and, and if Swampert comes in, he pretty much gets a kill. So I can't risk the I can't risk going for the wall switch. And if I like go for the floor cannon, then oh, uh, and if he goes under the Pharaoh, it's gonna be bad for me. But then again, I I thought he wouldn't be risking um uh, HP fire and. His, I thought his most likely switch would be the Pelipper, so I just decided to go for the Floor Cannon here. As I do Floor Cannon on the Calm Mind. And it does a pretty decent chunk to the Lele, I would say. And now now I just go for the Iron Head here because I know that he's not switching out a plus one. Especially since he decided to set up on me and that and that all our Pummeling does nothing to my Major and I, and I just get off of, I just kill the Lele off. Okay, now now he goes and decides to guard the Halucha here, and he gets the special defense drop. Um, I think I I think I may play for quite some time here, and I run some cals, and I see that if he's like the standard set the uh, set which they usually run, uh, the standard set being the uh, one with the psychic seed, they don't run that much special defense, and uh, floor cannon still would do a lot, like about. 60 percent ish and then i could just wall switch on a predicted roost or or if he drain punches like then i could just go hard uh mobile and yeah oh uh, because my mobile has intimidate so i could have i could i can get rid of the halucha so yeah uh, that was my game plan here so i just decided to go for the floor cannon i believe uh and yeah i'm, I'm running my calcs here to make sure uh what's my play and he decides to bulk up and I floor cannon, but the floor cannon does absolutely no shit. Even at minus one, it was supposed to do like 60, but it does only 45. And uh, I figure out that this is a very bulky Halucha. And I just hard Lando here because I don't want him to drain punch and like get back health. So if he drain punches, he take he drain punches my Lando and that would be much better for me. Uh, and here, yeah, I go out on my Lando and I, I'm not going to click the HP eyes because if he's Roost, then... Uh, I just lose on spot, so I, I I have to click U-turn here, and I have no other play. And yeah, if this was Roost Halucha, it would have been maybe a bit more problematic. Uh, I don't really know, but Mawile could have been able to pick this off either way. So yeah, U-turn is my play here on the Halucha. As yeah, I, I just I know HP Ice or Rocks is like a losing play, so I have to U-turn here. Um, on the Halucha, as I probably I, I actually anticipate the roost or another bulk up here. But um, let's see what he goes for. <sighs> yeah, and actually he's been kind of playing questionable according to me because uh, he just sacks the Lele for no reason. And yeah, he you can see that he goes for the acrobatics right here. As I switch out and I U turn into my Mega Mobile, I expected either the bulk up or the roost. But uh, since he didn't go for the roost, it's pretty obvious that he doesn't have the roost there. And I can just go into my mobile and click play rough. He has he drain punches, but the drain punches does 26 because Halucha is weak as shit and he's running some bulky spread. So Mega Mobile just picks up the Halucha and uh, what looked like to, what looked like a very hard matchup is looking in my favor now. And yeah, th this is pretty cool. Uh, now, now I think he. Now I'm expecting the Pelipper to come out, and he, since he goes around the Pelipper, uh, he, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's gonna go scout for the Thunder Punch because he doesn't want to lose the Pelipper here. Because if he loses the Pelipper right here, I can easily stall out the rail rain turns. That is like eight turns, okay, seven turns or something. Yeah. So I just go for the player up here, anticipating the Swamper to come in. 
but he goes out he makes a good he makes a decent mid ground play and goes out of the ferrothon and on the ferrothon i can just sd up and i can click the knockoff uh, as i just do that and i knock off and that kills the pharaoh so that's nice okay right here right here he goes out of the swampert and i'm with my mega mobile I really wanted to click Prey off, but that, that, but then again, I didn't have the balls to click it, so I just went for the sucker punch, and I, I'm pretty sure I just suckered again. As this time he, fully just attacks me. Yeah, but uh, I, I definitely considered a player thing there, but then again, it was going to be too risky, so I just click sucker punch because I don't have the balls, and yeah, he just picks off my mega mobile, and I get off a huge chunk on, uh, the swamp bird here and now um uh, now i think i decided to go out on my keldeo but i think the better play probably might have been to go out to the lando because lando is pretty much useless and if he's like yeah if he is like a jolly swamp bird and he gets off if he gets off chip on my keldeo that might have been oh uh, bad because that might have put it in range of hydro pump but yeah, Landers would have been the better, superior play here, but I go into my Keldeo, and uh, yeah, and uh, it actually doesn't matter because he turns out to be adamant, but this is something you guys should know uh, just for uh, future reference that uh, Landers was actually my uh, better play here, and just click U turn because uh, obviously Waterfall doesn't kill, and uh, yeah, and I if he was jolly and if I had to take the extra chip damage, then uh, it would have been it would have been like slightly unfair unfavorable for me. Even though I would I'm pretty sure I would have won. I just sacked the uh, Landris here, but he decides to go for the U turn, so that that's that's nice for me because I can stall out the extra rain turns. Now I can just sack my Lando because Lando is useless. What is it going to do against a Pelipper and a Kingdra? Uh, here I decide to go out into my. Uh, uh, here I decided to go out on my Hoopa, I believe, because uh, Hoopa can just uh, kill one mod here. It either kills the Kingdra or it kills the uh, Pelipper. So I just click Psychic here because Psychic is base 90 over the Dark Pulse. Yeah, a Dark Pulse is only 80, so yeah, I click Psychic and I pick up the Pelipper. Now he goes out of the Kingdra and he just clicks Hydro because he has to lock himself in Hydro because he can't kill any all my mods without locking himself into Hydro, especially the Hoopa, yeah, Hoopa lives a surf, I'm pretty sure. And he can't lock himself into Draco because um, of the obvious ma Majorna, so he has to lock himself into Hydro Pump. I, I just sack my Hoopa off, and now I can go into my Larty, uh, and I can Psychic once, and I can, uh, yeah, I can Psychic here, and I can just sack my Latios. Uh, psychic puts him in range of Secret Sword, and I can go out into my Keldia and just uh, knock the Kingdra off with the Secret Sword, but um, as you can see, he just clicks the Hydro Pump here, I believe, as I decide to click uh, Psychic, uh, most probably, because Psychic does like, yeah, Psychic does like over 50 to this thing, I'm pretty sure. Yes, I, I just Psychic here, uh, it does 54, and I just click Psychic again, as he misses, so yeah, that miss did not matter, because even if he knocked out my Latios, I could have just gone out of my Keldeo, and my Keldeo at 88 always lives, and I could have just clicked up. Uh, I could have just clicked a secret sword, so yeah, that's that's basically the game. So I'm three and zero at, the, at this point, and you guys should know I finished five and zero uh, because you already seen the finals games. But yeah, this was this is something I wanted to do from my perspective, and thanks, Doc, for all the narrations and stuff. Uh, yeah, so I think this was a pretty cool game. Uh, I I definitely didn't have the matchup, but um, I outplayed my way into this game. So, yeah. Peace, guys. I'll be back with, like, more snake narrations, probably. And, yeah. Cool. Peace out.